-hmm. Greetings, most magnificent and beloved brothers and sisters. Beloveds, have you truly noticed that? Nothing is what it seems. You have a plan, you have an idea that if I say this or I do that, the result will be such and such as if you think that one plus one equals two. But have you ever noticed that one plus one equals three because it creates something new and different? Nothing is what it seems. Nothing is ever what you know with certainty that it will be. For creation has plans for you that are well beyond your imagination. And though your imaginations are quite vast and you can think yourself into some rather troublesome situations, what we wish for you to know is that when you can allow yourself to go with the flow of what it is that spirit has in store for you, the Holy Spirit, the higher self, whatever it is you wish to refer to it as, your spiritual guidance, God, Allah. It matters not what you call it or how you label it, except that what you do in that process is give it parameters. But beloveds, when you truly allow yourself to float upon the sea of spirit, you will find that there is a journey that is so extraordinary for you to experience love and kindness and tenderness and happiness and joy. And as long as you are willing to release the hold that you, the grip that you have on what you have known your life to be, you'll allow yourself to float out into an existence that is everything that you truly have ever desired. See, every desire that has been instilled within your mind was given to you you volunteered and said, I wish to experience this. I wish to experience that. And when something occurs and you say, no, no, this is not the way that this is supposed to be. I'd like to change the parameters. Understand that all you are meant to do, beloveds, is to breathe through a moment. To breathe through the greatest ecstasy that you have ever experienced. And to breathe through these devastating moments of what you consider to be travesties and tragedies. For they are nothing but the energetic dynamics of love wending their ways through you. Love, beloveds, this is the one commandment, the one request that is made of each of you is to love. You have been given, you have been granted this gorgeous existence. I wish you all now to ask yourselves, what is it that you love most? Whom, what circumstances, what do you love the most about yourselves? Do you love your beautiful hearts? Do you love how generous you are to those that you know? Do you love how generous you can be to those that you don't know through the giving of charity? Do you love the way that your heart is so committed to expressing love in the world that you help to promote truth, you help to promote life, you help to promote love in the thoughts that you think, in the words that you speak, in the actions that you take. But this is what makes up the soul's journey. And indeed, beloveds, when it comes time for your life review, you will be able to say, this is how I express myself in the world. Whether it is through the publication of a book or the publication of a video or of a website or of a song, what will be the meaning and the significance of your life? How is it? Is it the publication of your children or just the mere presence of you? expressing love, beaming love to another. How is it that you will be remembered? What is the legacy that you leave behind? Understand that all of this has been coded upon your soul. And now you walk a pathway to leave your legacy, to have an experience of what it is to love all things 
in the most profound and ultimate field of neutrality, as you call it. It is the highest expression of light that there is. So we thank each and every aspect of you, beloveds. The good, the holy, and the beautiful for bringing your light to the existence of the universe. Blessings to you always, beloved ones. We love you. And we will speak with you again. <laughs>